Hi again, I'm back. It's Steve Better from Autodesk in the UK with a little video on sharing data between Autodesk Vault and Microsoft SharePoint. So many of you might have Microsoft SharePoint installed as your uh, your corporate uh, document management solution. Um, and from an engineering point of view, you may want to share data with the extended design team that are maybe using SharePoint. So we use SharePoint and you can see here I've just logged into my SharePoint site um, and you can see that at the minute there's actually no engineering data on my SharePoint site. So as I go into Vault Professional I can use all of the uh, the tools that we've got inside of Vault Professional to manage all of my engineering data. You can see I've got an AutoCAD mechanical DWG file here uh, which is related to some uh, to some other documents, some email messages and some Excel spreadsheets. But what I want to do is share this with my extended design team around the business um, who are using SharePoint as their way of accessing data. So directly from inside of Vault I can actually use the pack and go tool and choose how I want to share this and one of the options is to share directly with SharePoint. I can choose how I want to share this, whether I want it unzipped, whether I want it zipped up, whether I want it as zip files. I can also choose which data I want to actually share. Do I want to include dependents, attachments, library files, etc. I've got a choice of what I can send up to my SharePoint site. Now when I click on OK, I get a choice of which SharePoint site I wish to send this to because we can actually configure multiple SharePoint folders to send data to so if you're working on multiple projects you can choose which project and share the data directly with that project and then Vault pushes that data to SharePoint and if we have a look back in my SharePoint site now so I'll log in and we'll get the SharePoint interface and we can see now that I've got that Vault data folder that I didn't have previously I've also got a PDF document which is the transmittal report. So using the pack and go tool from within Vault it creates a transmittal report which will show me all of the data that's actually been shared up with SharePoint. We can see the status of that, we can see the revision, we can see where it's come from. So we're getting the full details of the data as well as the folder structure with the files in. So I can navigate through that folder structure into my project there we've got those DWG files. We can see that we've got the, new, the little new glyph next to them. So SharePoint is highlighting that that data has been newly uploaded. And then I can view that data using Autodesk Design Review, which is installed on the, um, on the same system that I'm using with SharePoint. So we're giving access to non-engineers who want to see and view data that's maybe been stored in Autodesk Vault. So I hope you like that one. See you again soon.